welcome back to my channel and I do have a grocery haul for you even though the grocery haul is extremely sad <laughs> I went to the farmers market so I did get a lot of fresh foods because just remember in this time of craziness that we are going through in this world don't forget to eat whole good food so I did go to the farmers market and I did get some fresh vegetables and some berries and then also I did do an online Walmart grocery pickup however because of all the craziness that's going on in this world right now I only got less than half of the things that I actually ordered so the haul is gonna be a little puny this time and then also I kind of have a meal plan but I can't find eggs anywhere nowhere i've been to so many stores i cannot find eggs i can't find eggs um at even the smaller stores they're gone so um i don't know exactly how my meal preps are going to look over the coming weeks because uh, as you guys know a lot of different recipes and stuff do call for eggs but we are going to wing it. I'm still going to be meal prepping. We still have to eat, obviously, so um, I just don't know exactly how those meal preps are going to look. I did have an, a, a complete meal plan for this next week. I mean, I'll show you the meal plan. I don't know if everything on the meal plan is going to happen um, due to the fact that I didn't get some of the ingredients that I needed. And then also, like I said, I can't find eggs. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter if it's the smaller local stores or the big chain grocery stores. I cannot find eggs here where I'm at. Other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe. I'm praying for you, your family. I'm praying for your country if you're in a different country. Um, you know, we all just, the world just needs prayers right now. But let me show you the grocery haul. All right, y'all, so we are gonna start off with the fruit and veggie market or farmer's market, whatever you wanna call it. But I did pick up a couple of bags of these sweet mini peppers. These are delicious. These are a little bit higher in carbs, so just be careful how many you have. But like I always say, I mean, anything can be keto if you fit it into your macros. And I did pick up two bags of those. I picked up some radishes because these, I did have somebody um, comment saying there is no way those taste like potatoes. In my opinion, when you fry these up, they taste like potatoes. Obviously they're radish radishes, so they don't taste exactly like potatoes, but they are still, in my book, a nice substitute. I did pick up a whole bunch of Brussels sprouts, even if we don't eat them all, I can freeze some of these. I picked up two cabbages, so I picked up this cabbage and then that cabbage, and one of the cabbage I'm going to be making in my meal prep, some cabbage and sausage, so that's what I'm gonna do with one of those. Picked up four avocados, picked up these portobello mushrooms, we'll just make some stuffed mushrooms or something with those. I did go ahead and snag a couple things of blueberries as well as a couple things of blackberries. I really wanted strawberries too, but the strawberries did not look very well, so I did not get those. Picked up two bags of baby spinach. We have been making some smoothies with those that are delicious. Grab some whole mushrooms just to cook with whatever kind of dish we want. Some green peppers. I did pick up some broccoli. I just like to eat broccoli as a side with butter on it. I don't know, I think they're, I think it's delicious. Then I did pick up some gray squash on steroids here. So I picked up three of those and these guys are massive. So if we don't eat all those, I can always freeze those. But you know what, squash in my house goes pretty darn quick. We love squash. So I can't imagine that I'm gonna even have to um, freeze those. Did pick up a couple more things of asparagus and I did grab some cilantro. Um, and I like to use cilantro to marinate meat. I like to use it just to um, throw in different dishes. I like the taste of cilantro. I know some of you guys don't. Um, but cilantro is kind of my jam to be honest with you. I really like it. 
And other than that, as far as the fruit and veggie market, that is all I got. But let me show you what I picked up at my very sad, sad Walmart. So I grabbed some onion powder because we were completely out. Picked up some of this queso fresco. Um, the shredded Monterey Jack cheese. This is a, what is it, eight ounce package. Went ahead and picked up some pepperoni and then two things of Italian dry salami. Picked up shredded iceberg lettuce. I don't recall picking up three of these, so I don't know if I had like a bigger bag. I really ought to look because I don't remember. I'm guessing I must have ordered like a larger bag or something and so they gave me three to make up for not having the larger bag. I don't know, I don't even remember. So I picked up some sliced honey ham from the deli. This is in case anybody wants to just snack or um, make sandwiches if you're, you know, one of my non-keto family members. Um, I like this oven roasted turkey breast. This is great for ham. I just go to the deli and get the deli one. This one has zero sugar, zero carbs, everything. You could even use the meat as kind of like a tortilla and make eggs and cheese or something and then wrap your eggs and cheese in this. It is delicious. <laughs> and then of course I picked Celine up her Quest chips. That was one of the first things she asked when I told her that we weren't going to get the entire order because they everything was out. She's like, did they get me my Quest chips? And I'm like, oh my gosh. Priorities you guys, priorities when you're 16. So got the barbecue, got the ranch. And then got the chili lime. The chili lime obviously didn't make it out of the parking lot like usual. But other than that, that is my entire grocery haul. Stay tuned for my meal plan. All right, y'all. So before I get into the meal plan, I just wanted to let you guys know that Perfect Keto is running a sale right now. 20% off site wide. If you need to stock up on any of your Perfect Keto products, now is the time. Again, 20% off is a pretty good chunk, and it's a great sale. The sale is going to be running for three days, March 16th, 17th, and 18th, so three days. And um, again, they sell collagen, they sell keto bars, they sell nut butters, they sell all kinds of stuff. I will have a link in the description box below that you can click on. And you're going to use the discount code STPAT2020. I'll have all the information that you need down in the description box below. But if you want to try anything or if you just need to stock up on some stuff, now is the time. Perfect Keto has some of the cleanest ingredients out there if you're looking for this kind of stuff. Moving on to the meal plan. This is for week 3-15-20. And then my little notes here. So unfortunately, there's a sad, sad little face by desserts because we are not making dessert this week because I don't want to waste eggs on any desserts. Um, I want to save eggs for, you know, meals or whatever, just in case. Um, Oscar's actually going to go tonight and look for eggs as well. But just in case we can't find eggs for a while, the eggs that we do have, we want to use them sparingly. Uh, and then my gratitude, I am extremely thankful that I found keto. So for breakfast, I'm going to be preparing some pancakes as well as scotch eggs. Then for lunches, I'm going to prep some taco meat and I did buy that shredded lettuce for taco salad or we could make cheese shells or um, eat it with just some sour cream with a little bit of cheese sprinkled on top, but we love to just have plain taco meat. It's so delicious. Then for dinners, I am going to pre be preparing some ranch dressing for salads. Um, and then I, that's one dish I don't think I'm going to be able to make because I wanted to get some salsa and that obviously must have been gone. So, um, I don't know if I'll just leave it out or if I'll replace that with another dish. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to be making some stuffed meatloaf, some sausage and cabbage, and then some mac and cheese using zucchini. I was going to use um, cauliflower, but apparently they are out of cauliflower as well because I couldn't find that either. So 
Um, that is my meal plan for this week. Stay safe, stay calm. We will all make it through this thing together. We can all just pray together and everything is going to be okay. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. On my own, but I don't know why. You hit the road, but you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around. I won't think twice when